Hello and welcome to the third podcast of Basic Income News. My name is Olga Babkova. For those who have never heard about basic income, a basic income is an income unconditionally granted to all on an individual basis, without means test or work requirement. Basic Income News reports on this idea. It is provided by the Basic Income Earth Network and its affiliates. Here are the main news of last week we reported about. You find the respective links to the articles below. The blog named Stumbling and Mumbling Why Not a Basic Income posted on October the 16th, 2013 gives three reasons why big is less popular than its merits. Selection effect, the power of reciprocity and status quo bias. The United Kingdom. According to the recent article of Tom Straithorst, fear of inflation and creditors' desire to be paid back in a strong currency has fueled the austerity argument. However, growing productivity and increasing numbers of debtors is driving down demand. Tom Straithorst argues that a basic guaranteed income is perhaps the only big idea being advanced that could solve that problem. Denmark Philip van Parish, professor at the Faculty of Economic, Social and Political Sciences of the Catholic University of Louvain, Belgium, will give two lectures in Copenhagen on November the 1st and the 2nd. In the first lecture, on November the 1st, he will talk about his idea of financing a European unconditional basic income through the European tax system, the so-called value-added tax, or VAT. The lecture is open to all, but registration is necessary. In the second lecture, titled Basic Income and Social Justice, on November the 2nd, Van Parish will discuss the reasoning behind his basic income proposal in a more generalized form. The lecture will take place at the Danish Film Institute in Copenhagen in collaboration with the Department of Political Science, Aarhus University. To find more details about the lectures, please visit our website. The United States with positive reference to the Swiss referendum, the column named minimum income proposal worth considering in the Popular Nation paper USA Today discusses basic income as something the United States should consider. The United States. The short blog of Matt Bruning named how a universal basic income would affect poverty, posted on the 3rd of October, provides an overview of the basic income guarantee idea along with an easy-to-use calculator that enables visitors to calculate the cost of providing everyone in the United States with a basic income. By experimenting with the calculator too, it's possible to see how much various basic income levels will decrease poverty and how much of GDP the program will cost. Canada. The 15th International Congress of the Basic Income Earth Network, BN, will take place on Friday, June the 27th to Sunday, June the 29th, 2014 at McGill University, Montreal. The conference theme is Redemocratizing the Economy. The conference has websites on both Facebook and Twitter. BN Congress 2013 invites proposals for individual papers, themed panels of up to three papers, and discussion roundtables that cover any aspect of the justification, design, or implementation of basic income. The deadline for proposals is the 13th of January 2014. Belgium. On October the 25th, 2013, basic income made the front page of the Flemish left of center daily Do Morgan. The article referred to a new book authored by Peter Do Kayser, a chief economist at the bank BNP Paribas Fortis in Brussels. In his book, entitled Growth Makes Happy, Do Kayser advocates the implementation of a substantial basic income of 1,000 euro per month in Belgium and the suppression of several existing benefits such as pensions and social assistance. The article also includes an interview with Evelyn Forget, University of Manitoba, about the Canadian BI experiments in the 1970s, as well as with Philippe Van Parish, Louvain University. The president of the Flemish Green Party, Wouter van Bezen, criticizes the proposal made by de Kayser as it would, he argues, lead to more inequality and more poverty. 
The editorial of the Morgan by Bart Eichhout is also entirely devoted to basic income. It is entitled Basic Income is Worth a Discussion. The editorial by Bart Eichhout can be read online, although its title is different from the printed version. The article itself is not available online. Europe. Guy Standing, honorary co-president of BN and professor of development studies at the School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London, is going to give several presentations on basic income in Italy, Norway, Finland, and the United Kingdom from the 2nd to the 13th of November 2013. Switzerland. Dorothy Schulte-Basta interviewed Daniel Henney on the Swiss Initiative. In the interview, Daniel Henney expressed his opinion about how he thinks the Swiss initiative will influence the rest of the world. He also stated that it's not the result of the vote on whether to introduce a basic income for all adults in Switzerland that matters, but what happens on the way towards the vote, what kind of consciousness is created, and how people's attitudes and thoughts change. If you have any comments or questions on basic income, feel free to leave a message below or contact us via Twitter. Our address is at BI News. If you have news related to basic income, please let us know and we will see if we can use it. There is a link on our website to suggest items. Thanks for listening and hope to see you next time again.